Hi everyone, Big Paulie back for a brand new Monday Blu-ray shopping trip. Yes, it's been sunny the last couple of days and now it's like all cloudy. But apparently it's not meant to rain today, so that's good. We are at Blue Water today. Yes, I shouldn't imagine the water's that blue because it's a bit murky out there. A um, couple of good releases out today. I have a little list. Just want to say thank you, everybody, for support on my first boot fair car boot sale video that I did. Wasn't overly successful. <laughs> In other words, I picked up shit all. But uh, it's only one boot fair, isn't it? Or one boot sale. Um, there's others that I can go to, so you never know what we might find at another one. Anyway... Let's get on to this week's lovely releases uh, before we go into Blue War. I've also got to keep an eye out on my phone as well because I'm expecting a phone call from the doctor any time today. They don't give you a time frame like we'll call you between 10 and 12. It's like we'll call you. What are you supposed to do? Just sit at home waiting for the phone to ring, staring at it? Is that bolded the twat from Bournemouth? Anyway, uh, as soon as that rings, I'll have to answer it. Okie dokie, so what have we got? Um, well, let's go into receiver position. Ba 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 ba. Oh, yes. Uh, today, we are going to Belfast. Not literally, but that's the new uh, main release that's out today, or one of the main releases. That is a Kenneth Branagh movie. Uh, that's available on Blu ray. So that's it, just Blu ray. Talking of Blu rays, we've also got Moonfall. Uh, from Roland Emmerich, again, Blu-ray only, no 4K, no steelbook in the UK, bog standard Blu-ray. Probably didn't do too well at the uh, at the cinema for that, uh, but there are some really nice steelbooks coming out in like Amazon France and Germany. So uh, they're out in about July. So I'll probably just pick up the Blu-ray. Uh, another big release that's out today is Sing 2. Yes, I remember going to see the first Sing at the cinema with Lulu and Claire, but we didn't see the second one. This one is available, again, on Blu-ray only. No 4K. There is a 4K for the first film, so I don't know why we're not getting a 4K for this one. Uh, what else have we got? Singing in the rain. It's not raining, so I'm not going to be singing. Hopefully, I'm not going to be singing at all. <laughs> yes, this is a uh, limited edition uh, box set from Warner Brothers. I think there's a still book out for it as well. And from Arrow Films. Arrow Films? How did you get on the shelf? We have 12 monkeys <laughs> on 4K. Uh, we also have the Species 4 movie collection from 88 Films. To be perfectly honest, I was only aware of the first two. I didn't know there was a third and a fourth film. I bet they're shit. Uh, I won't be buying that. Basically, the first film is the only species film worth picking up, to be, uh, to be honest. Yeah. We also have a film from 88 Films called Zeda or Zeda. I think it's Zeda. Uh, plus, we have the Watchmen Col Titans. I've got that the wrong way then. Coltons of tight. Yes, <laughs> the titans of cult. Cult! Cult, I tell you. Cult. Yes, uh, new from BFI, we have the 400 blows. Sounds like a Friday night in Dover. <laughs> oh, dear me. We've also got something called Bilitis. That's what you get when you get 400 blows in Dover. You get Bilitis. <laughs> Um, from Indicator Films, we have One for the Road, and we have a couple of Criterions, including Make Way for Tomorrow, okay, and also Love Jones. Uh, and also on BFI, we have Jules Ed Jim, or Jules E.T. Jim, I think it's Jules and Jim, yeah. Uh, that's mainly the list that we're going to get to see, I think, today, some of that. There are some anime ones as well, so I might have a look, see if we can find some anime. Anime! Yes, but anyway, uh, the car park is not too bad today, so let's get into Blue Water. 
Uh, we'll go and have a quick look at the Disney store, see if anything is in there yet, because all the time there's nothing in the Disney store. No rent's being paid. Yeah. <laughs> Surely somebody must have jumped in there by now. Uh, but then we'll go up the escalator straight to the HMV store and have a look. Oh, and have a look, see if they have the bargain bins, because apparently many stores have got the bargain bins back. The bargain's bins back, yeah. So we'll go and have a look. Anyway, let's get into Blue Water. Let's start some Blu-ray shopping on this Monday morning. Oh, yes, baby. Why is it cloudy when it was sunny yesterday? Blu-ray hunting, baby. I do like a nice trip to Blue Water on a Monday when everybody's at work and school and it's not too busy. Yes. Let's go and do some shopping. Today, Bungle, we are going through the oblong window. Let's have a look, see what's in there. Uh, just a golf course. I don't know why I keep recording running water. It makes me want to go wee now. Oh, fabulous. Where's all the ducks? There's all the ducks and the swans. Not too busy up here today, that's good. Where's the blue water sign? They've taken the blue water sign down. Oh dear. You know where I'm gonna be getting my dinner later on. Oh yes, bake me a spud, baby. Okay, well, that is where the Disney store used to be. Well, they used to have windows I could look in, but it's just, what the bloody hell, it's just like advertising boards now. What a bloody waste of a shop. Oh, just think I can squeeze through there. Mm. Breathe in. Up we go. Oh, someone's been treading in blue paint. Mm. Here we go, I can see HMV clearly now, Lorraine has gone. I don't even know who Lorraine is. There we go, okay, so let's go and have a look in HMV and see what we've got this week. Okay, so on the new and trending, the first thing I'm seeing is Belfast. It's right over there, past the sea. Yes, with an alternate ending. Why does he look like he's flying on that? £14.99, comes with a lovely, beautiful slipcover. <coughs> and what have we got here? Sing 2. Oh, look, there's all sorts of lovely creatures on there. I loved the first film. I thought it was really good, so I might pick this one up. No 4K, though. Down here we have Moonfall, which was kind of like, meh. But uh, £14.99 again, no slipcover on this one, unfortunately. No 4K or a steelbook. Damn it. And um, I think this might be new this week. What's it called? The Souvenir Part 2. I don't know about that film. Yeah. Uh, the, three, the 355, which I bought on 4K from Germany recently, is here on Blu-ray for £10.99. So you can pick that up if you want. And on the DVD premieres, we have something called Held. <laughs> yes, I held them. £7.99 comes in an orange case. And here we have Project Gemini. I watched the trailer for this. It kind of looked okay, but then I saw the reviews and the reviews said it was shit. So I might just leave it. This looks quite good though. Shadows. It looks very creepy. Very creepy. And it's really nice imagery on the back there. So I might wait for that to come down in Prath before I pick that one up. And uh, this game's The Games of Murder with uh, Mr. Ron Perlman himself. There he is, there's our boy. Yes, looking all hellish. What else have we got? Down here we have the latest Shudder called Superhost for £10.99. Good bet that old Mr. Robert Bountifet is... <laughs> Robert Fett's bounty is going to buy that, I should imagine. Here's um, one of those Criterion ones, Love Jones, and here's Make Way for Tomorrow. It's only Monday, I don't want to make way for tomorrow because I've got to go to work tomorrow, so I think I'll just stay on today. Thank you very much. Yes, and uh, we have Jurassic Shark. This is bound to be a lot of old shit. Look, she's just waiting for it. Go on, get. she's waiting to be snatched. Pardon? 
<laughs> £4.99. <laughs> There's bound to be a lot of old shit. Here's the 4K section. Hooray. <laughs> and we have Basic Instinct. And look, it's reduced to £14.99 on 4K. Good price. Here's Mr. Bond himself. And he's in the 2 for 30 now. Yes. No time to die. <laughs> Maybe time tomorrow. <laughs> singing in the rain. I'm singing in HMV. Because I want to go to poo. £34.99. <laughs> Oh, this was not the overdub that I was planning. We've got two of those. What else we got? We've got the Ten Commandments steelbook, but wait for it. 40 quid for a bloody steelbook? Jog on, Nancy. <laughs> what have we got down there? Oh, yes, we've got those monkeys. <laughs> yes, 12 monkeys on 4K. I do already have the standard edition, so I probably won't bother with the 4K. Not until I hear if it's any good or not. But we'll just book that back anyway. Up here on some box sets, we have Monkey, the complete series. Yes, £100. Holy moly, is that correct? Jeez. And we also have Space 1999 as well. And that's like 70 odd quid. What else have we got? We've got Cobra Kai. And guess how much it is? 25 quid. You can buy it for £6 in CEX. Here's a little uh, trip down the Blu-ray Blu aisle just to get a nice little photo, a nice little bit of video footage. I almost tripped up twice, so yeah, there you go. Uh, right, down here on the big sale, it's not really a big sale, uh, we've got some Arrow, uh, I was going to say Arrow, but it's 101s. Yes, we've got Black Christmas there, we've got some Alien Insurre Resurrection. Uh, Iron Sky the two, uh, number two for £3.99, Alien Nation down there. And um, we have some 101 titles, including Basketball for £3.99. I can see Buster there. <laughs> Black Eagle as well with Jean-Claude. And more other shit as well. Braven and whatever that one is. I can't read it. I can't be bothered to read it, to be honest. FX, the complete collection for £7.99. And various other 101s as well. The Headhunter. He must have lost his head somewhere. We got the night clerk, or is it the night clerk? Yeah, not not a, a huge amount of uh, titles in here, unfortunately. We got Otto Preming, whatever the fucking hell that is. Something about an opera there. Project X, that looks very good. Yeah, but uh, yeah, there we go. That is a cool little ornament to have on your shelves. Little nipper there with the uh, the gramophone. I wonder if they sell that. Nance alert. Okay, so I picked up a couple of things in there. I picked up three things. Uh, they didn't have the bargain bins, but they had a few sale items, uh, but not a lot. So I think they were still putting some stuff out. Uh, but anyway, let's go to our next stop. Let's pop in the entertainer, have a look, see if they've got Hello anything. There. I'm Batman. I'm a cardboard cutout. Jamie wants to take me home with him. They don't have much uh, Star Wars stuff. Just a couple of figures in here and a uh, few plush. Come on! I'm right here! Put the cookie down! Yeah, not a lot in there, just a few Star Wars bits. No new Jurassic Park or Jurassic World Dominion stuff. Probably have to go to Smith's for that. And uh, some pop vinyl figures. Uh, they had the Turbo Man, which a bit bulky to take home. It's actually really pleasant walking around up here today. Being a Monday, you know, you've got people, but you're not having to dodge in and, in and out of people. So uh, you can just walk at your own pace and yeah, it's really nice. I've got a feeling that, that is, that's where the Amazon store used to be. They've gone already. I'm pretty sure that was the Amazon store. Apparently he talks Phil. Okay, let's go and get some dinner. Let's go and get a lovely jacket potato from Spudulak. Okay, so out of Blue Water. I didn't go in Menkind in the end. Um, 
I went straight past it. There wasn't much going on. Um, I picked up a couple of bits and pieces from HMV. Uh, they didn't have the bargain bins, but they had kind of like a few shelves with some sale stuff. Blu-ray wise, there wasn't a lot uh, for sale. Um, probably no more than 30 titles. Um, but uh, they were still putting stuff out, so maybe they haven't put everything out yet. It's a shame I was looking forward to digging down deep in a bargain bin. Um, I did pop into Spodju Like. I picked myself up a nice sprite. Which I can't actually suck through the bloody hole. Oh, look at that. Oh, what? That's ridiculous. I know it's all eco and all that kind of bollocks, but did you really have to get rid of the plastic straws? There was nothing wrong with the plastic straws. Don't go, I'm not even going there. There is one fast food outlet that still uses plastic straws. But uh, yeah, look, it's just, it's cut the paper straw, it's all melted and it's all cut it in half. That's better. But yeah, these bloody paper straws are a pain in the ass. Just bloody leave everything as it is. Don't bother changing shit. Changing shit. <laughs> right, okie dokie. Uh, I did pick up myself some tea for me and Papa Bowman later on. Um, I'm just going to show you. Well, hello. There he is. Yes, it's from Mr. Pretzel. It's a hand rolled pretzel. I think this is vanilla and vanilla and sugar. He says, try not to drop it all over the floor. So that will be from uh, me and Papa Bowman tonight. But I did go into the um, the spud you like. I, I've got a different spud this time. The last one I got was, was it cream cheese and cream che soft cream cheese and something? There was actually, there was actually one that had a bloody hot dog on it. <laughs> I was tempted. So uh, what did I pick up? Oh, blimey. Well, that looks a bit oriental. Uh, it's butter chicken. Um, yeah, it looks like a bit of tikka, chicken tikka. Or some shit. Hang on, let's have a let's have a bite. See what it's like. Oh, it's definitely Indian. Butter chicken. Yeah, definitely Indian. That's nice. Hmm. That's really nice. Um, I also got a little bit of garlic bread. And. I've got some fat-free cottage cheese. Love cottage cheese. Right, I'm going to eat this, and then um, we'll go through if I can find somewhere. To... They... Why don't they build tables inside cars? <laughs> That'd be bloody handy, wouldn't it? You like have a table table come down and go right across you. Right, I'm going to eat this, and then I'll show you what I picked up in HMV. Okay, so just had my potato. That was very nice. I might not go for it again. Very messy because you got all that like Indian juice and dripping everywhere. I've just washed this shirt, so I had to make sure that I had, you know, enough paper covering up the shirt because you know I don't want anything like that to stain on it. Right. Okay. What have we got? Okay. So picked up three things today. None of them are 4Ks. Okay, so one of they're all literally three big titles. So the first one I picked up uh, is a film that I went to see at the cinema, directed by Roland Emmerich. This is Moonfall. Patrick Wilson, um, Halle Berry. I liked the first three quarters of the film. I thought the ending was pretty naff. You know, it's out there it was just hard to comprehend 
the reason why they were going to the moon. Um, but it's a bit of a fun film, but I'm going to watch it again. I only picked up the Blu-ray because obviously we haven't got anything else. If I do feel like I don't mind having it in the collection, I'll probably buy the Steelbook. Um, there's a couple of Steelbooks coming out in Germany and France uh, sometime in July. So there's no rush to pick up a Steelbook. So £14.99, I don't mind p picking this up. I will probably put this in a black case because it deserves... Well, I'm not saying that it deserves to go in a black case, but... It'll look good in a black case. Okay, so there we go. Moonfall. All the extras on the back there. Have we got any extras? Oh, pardon me. It doesn't look like there's any extras on the film. So it looks like it's just a bog standard release. Just the film. Uh, we do have some inside artwork. Not overly brilliant though. But there we go. We, at least we do have some. So that is Moonfall. Uh, there is a DTS HD Master Audio 5.1 soundtrack on this. I would have preferred Dolby Atmos. Um, I would imagine on 4K with a Dolby Atmos soundtrack would be pretty good. But that is Moonfall. Uh, and it doesn't come with a slipcover. Damn them. Next one up is a film by Kenneth Branagh. Belfast. Yes, I haven't seen this. I never saw it at the cinema. It's also got Judy Dench in it. £14.99. It does come with a slipcover. Uh, bonus features including an alternate ending featuring Kenneth Branagh. Deleted scenes, uh, a city of stories, the making of Belfast, everyone's inner child and a feature commentary with writer-director Kenneth Branagh. And this is DTS HD Master Audio 7.1 and this is the Blu-ray. So that's pretty good. Um, that's probably either going to go in a yellow or a black case. I haven't decided yet. So let's have a look, see what we have inside. What do we have inside? I can't get the plastic off. Seriously, I can't get the plastic off. There we go. Da -da. And we also have <clears throat> some inner artwork as well. So that's very nice. So yeah, look forward to watching this film. Uh, I did like the trailer. Again, no 4K for this, no steelbook for this. We're getting very short-changed in the UK this week with a lot of uh, titles. And the last one I picked up is Sing 2. Again, no 4K for this in the UK. Even when there's a 4K for the first film, no steelbook for it. So what's going on? Why are we only getting these bog standard Blu-rays? Yeah, so uh, I enjoyed the first film. Uh, look forward to seeing the second one. This includes uh, two hours of bonus features, including two mini movies for Gunter's Eyes Only. For Gunter's Eyes Only. Yes. Animal Attraction plus Super Sing Alongs, How to Dance, How to Draw, Outtakes, and more. And it has a Dolby. It has a Dolby Atmos soundtrack on the Blu-ray. That's got a Dolby Atmos soundtrack. That's got a DTS soundtrack. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Uh, but it does come with a lovely slip cover. This one, of course, won't have a, uh, um, a change in uh, case because it's perfectly fine to be in a blue case. There we go. And we've got some nice inner artwork as well. So I might actually save watching this one because uh, me, Lulu and Claire went to the cinema to see the first film. So uh, maybe we'll do a, a, a movie night and just watch that one. Fantastic. There we go. So that is it. So only three pickups this week. Didn't pick anything up in the sale in there. You know, in the HMV, um, is it Arrow sale? No, it wasn't the Arrow sale, was it? Or the 88.8, I can't remember. The 101s, there was a lot of 101s there. I didn't pick any of them up. Uh, there wasn't that many in there, to be perfectly honest. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And a little out and about. Like the video by giving it some thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and share. Stick down in the comments what did you have delivered this week. And uh, what have you picked up. And uh, I'll see you on the next video very soon. Bye bye.